Ah, Biko. I would be lying if I said this is unexpected. Welcome to my home, Brightthroat Village. Cozy. Of course you do. This matter of the remnant, you must understand, it is fragile as a marsh robin's egg. Even so, I trust your heart, and truthfully, we could use the help. Bright All answers lie with the hist. It is just a matter of hearing what it has to say. Chime maker Shuvu can help us. Our hist speaks through the wind, you see. It's word. Old Shuvu spends his time in the glade of chimes, to the west of the village. In my youth, I would spend all my time listening to the chimes. You will like chime maker Shuvu, I think. Very wise and very pleasant. Like one of your gray muzzled bark dogs. Let's make our way to the glade. The remnant. It is not a thing known, but a thing felt. Like rain on the shoulders, or a brief whiff of cinnamon grass. Ha, this is fair. When I was a hatchling, a very old Nahish elder told me a story about a lost tribe. One that lived far away in houses of stone. She did not speak about the remnant, but its name swelled in my heart. I... My knowing tree is barren. Sorry, Biko. Better to learn these things together anyway. For you, at least. Just think, if I knew where the remnant was, I would probably have hidden it by now. Is the name not clear? It is a glade. It is full of chimes. Hmm. Some people think that the hist speaks to us, just as I speak to you. Using words, you see. We call this kahupwo, the mouth talk. Very rare, Biko. Yeah. Is that? Ha! Ah, little Zookus, come to visit your old friend in the Glade of Chimes? He is always so busy now. I recall when he stood only as tall as the Kepo grass. Remnant of... My, my. This is no small question, Zookus friend. Look around you. Each of these chimes sing out a tangle of melodies, but only one tangle. Ah, the old gel is clever, Zukas. Yes, my hands gave birth to every chime you hear. But the remnant? Only one chime can sing its truth. Locked away, hidden under mud in lost memories. Understand, our exiles did not want this truth drifting free on the wind. The Wither Vault is well north of the village. I would guide you, but my knees grow stiff as kindling wood. Little Zukas can aid you, I have no doubt. Since before he hatched, I called him the Little Stump. He would plant himself at the foot of the listening tree and stare up at the branches. You should ask him. Treeminder Pavu saw the old sap in Zukas. She made him a root herald, and his days grew short and lean like an underfed guar. Eventually, he had no time to listen anymore. All is as the Hist wishes it to be. One day, when he has grown old and thin like me, he may return to the Glade. The path to the remnant bends like an oxbow. Let's find this chime. Leaving the glade always puts rocks in my sandals. Sad, you know. One day the two of us should share some phlegm wine there and just listen. Oh, the Viathan Pizzle grows across this glade. A very powerful herb, Beagle. I cannot imagine the Brightthroats ever holding territory here. Very little wind, hollow seeds, and poor fishing. There it is, just up ahead. This place dries my scales.
No good thing yeah. comes from stone. Let's make this quick. Here we will find more than the chime inside this vault. Be careful. The Nahish elders never speak of this place. Not even to me. Stay watchful, Biko. I hear something. The chimes. They sing without wind. Just ahead. Kayok, I hate this. Good work, Biko. Let us get back to Brightthroat Village. Soiling the chime? My rage quill is engorged. Be calm, old Shuvu. No one wants to see that. The wind welcomes you, Zuka's friend. You have the remnant chime? Please, settle an old lizard's spines. The beast Zuka's mentioned, it did not gnaw or shed water on it, right? Hist be praised. Take the chime to the listening tree and hang it there. When you are ready, clutch this prayer stone and focus. If your cause is just, the hist will answer. If not... Perfect. Now center yourself in the glade and focus the remnant's mystery on the prayer stone. We seek your guidance and ask the blessing of your song. Sap mother, bow father, please hear our petition and speak the remnant's truth. I... I hear nothing. A tangle of whispers, nothing more. That can't be. Wait, I hear it, Shuvu. I hear it. The hist sings the remnant's truth. Truly? Ha! Ah, little Zookas, I knew you had a chime maker's heart. Come, tell us what you hear. I am confused. Shuvu is the wisest listener in the tribe. 
How could he hear nothing when I heard it so clearly? He is very old. Maybe he just needs his ear cavity flushed. Smoke of stars to see what once was seen. Sunless sap to hear what once was heard. A bramble of words. I appreciate the Hist's poetry, but this is not an ideal time for it, I think. I do not know. Hopefully Shuvu can teach me how to decipher the words. It will take time, but I will find you if I learn more. They hissed, whatever will I do? Oh, hello. Uh, Cassandra said you'd be here. Well, you certainly have a spring in your step. You're following another lead on the remnant. Or, a uh, potential lead. Someone she worked with before she started funding Cyrodiilic collections. I don't know much more. West of here, near that spooky prison. Honestly, I missed most of it. <laughs> Too preoccupied by her bodyguard. Something about how he looks at me. <sighs> Gives me the shivers, you know? But we have better things to discuss. Hmm. Ritual Argonian poetry. Smoke and sunless sap. Strange that the bright throats hissed would speak in such dour terms. Maybe it describes some dark age. The Alessian incursion of the First Era? Or perhaps a dark age yet to come. He gags. Let's hope it's not that. Ugh, I wish I knew. He's just the worst, right? She hired him maybe six months ago? I don't think Cassandra's ever received a credible threat to her life, but Cassandra summoned me. Honestly, it's nice to get out of the office from time to time. Thought I might take in a Tiba Enu match while I'm here. I... Oh, they're mostly fine, if a little shaken up. Good, you're here. You found us. Good. As you can see, we've met with some difficulty. I apologize for the unsightliness. Murder, apparently. The victim is... was Hitsasi. A former associate. That is what we are trying to determine. Whatever happened, it was neither clean nor brief. His throat was cut. Simple bandages weren't enough to staunch the bleeding, it seems.
What have you found? Show them to me, if you will. Pages torn from Hitsatsi's journal. I do not mean to speak ill of the dead, but I must admit some surprise. He never struck me as someone committed enough to keep a journal. So, the blackguards have learned what we already know. The truth of the remnant cannot be torn from my eggkin because they do not know it. Only their tribal relics can provide the answers. You see? The voice of the Hiss needs a conduit, some physical means of communication. The blackguards fail to acquire the Brightthroat's chime, but they clearly mean to steal some relic from the Deadwater tribe. Precisely. You know one of the tribe's calls, don't you? Jaxic Orn, if I recall correctly. Safe travels. When you've concluded your business with the Deadwater tribe, meet me back at Cyrodiil Collection's headquarters in Lil. Please, don't mistake my stoic demeanor for a lack of enthusiasm. All of this is tremendously exciting. Well, I wrote a treatise on the subject some years ago. A brisk 400 pages. But I suppose I can give you a summary. Argonians share a special relationship with their hist. They hear its will, taste its decrees. Yes, well, that's just it. I can't hear the hist. When I place my hands on the hist's bark or rest in the shadow of its boughs, I hear nothing. No, thank you. I admit the silence troubles me, but do you see? My eggkin sometimes need intermediaries, too. On dishonor. Pishy life matters more than stupid traditions. Pishy chose to save us. Outsiders will only make things worse. Come, Dapasa. Bill has made her decision. Yeah! is precious. I grind my fangs. I narrow my eyes. I know what you see. I narrow my eyes. I know what you seek. You and the blackguards both. Sojay and I hack and cleave and stab. Yet my consider. We killed many savages together. We will do so again. If the Hist thinks you are worthy of remnant secrets, you will survive. If not, so be it. I arch my brow ridge. Special. Yes. Our grave stakes do not just pin the dead to their resting place. Each tells a story. Some as old as the tribe itself. Yes. All the more reason to hack these blackguards dead. Ha! Myself.
here already. You are swift, Ogel. I will give you that. The blackguards steal our fallen eggkin's grave stakes without regard for the stake's purpose. The blackguard savages build pongees. This word means fumers. Racks of oily, spoiled meat that keep the bog blights off their scent. As we recover the grave stakes, destroy the fumers. This time we attack as one. One serpent, two heads. A single spear ant means nothing, but a hive means death. A bog blight is nothing to us alone. But do not be. It was a glorious battle. And he fights with me still, you see. <clears throat> I curl my lips. Poetic. Another word for soft, I think. We call them Zulvats. They tell the stories of our victories. And our defeats. Often enough to earn a name. Bog Blight. Bog blights will feast on this camp soon enough. Yes, these blackguards will pay a high price for challenging the Deadwater tribe. Well done. Now travel north. We will raid their main encampment and finish this. I know I spoke of fighting as one, but these two were too loud and foolish. So Jay and I had to kill them. One shouted at the other about a relic they could not find. The grave stake of a Kronakal. The great Deadwater war chief called Etra of the Many Spears. I blink my eyes. Maybe. Reading a Zulvat is grave singer work. We cannot know until we claim the stake. My tale sinks. Etra is buried in the Tomb of Many Spears, an unclean place. Vahat, or taboo in the dry tongue. Sojay and I cannot fight there, but you can. 
I will reclaim your body and make a helm of your skull. You have earned that, at least. Why do you slump? Bristle your war spines. Etra was a legend, true. But what you fight is not Etra. A call has no tongue for stories. But I will do my best. I shake my head. A hero to us. Not to you, I think. He stored them in the great stone vault that eventually became his tomb. He did not. He died in glory. I roll my eyes.
then, is it Etra's story on the gravestake? Or the Hists? Both, my Carl. What is our story, if not the story of the Hists? I see them return. You destroyed Etra? Good. Let that victory rattle the roots. Grave singer Kiat tells me what we seek is not in the grave stake symbols, but in the wood itself. I shake my head. It is a grave stake like the others. Patience! There are words. In a garden in a maw of stone. Yes, that is all. This is what we hunted for. A garden. I his fire. Why could it not be more simple? Chaos. There must be more. What is us? The Bumbler, Famia, Zucas, the Dry Scale, Cassandra. A nest of weak spines in Ogel treachery. I will not. I am sorry. Please, you must understand, we only seek the remnant to... Ah, there you are. Ah, oh, thank Mara you're here. I haven't seen a gathering go this poorly since my sister Concordia's seventh birthday. Marinus put slugs in her pudding. I can still hear the screams. Whew. Hmm. A location, clearly. But a location for what? I did some more research on the first riddle. The one... It's an Argonian religious practice. Sort of. I've never witnessed one myself, but they typically involve a period of isolation and exposure to potent, mind-altering herbs. Yes. Now if we could don't Wait. A garden in a maw of stone? <gasps> of course! That's gotta be the Swallowed Grove! The Rionwo! A dream wallow in the Swallowed Grove. Immediately. I hate to set out in such a hurry, as careless haste can be fatal in this profession. Unfortunately, we cannot afford to wait. Just look at us. A bright throat negotiator, a dead water call, an alley tough naga, two scholars and a hero. As unlikely a party as any I've seen before. The grove is north of Alton Mirhalil, tucked away near a roaring waterfall if memory serves. I will make my personal ferry available to all here assembled. Join us, or walk if you prefer. Long years of bitter disappointment have trained me to measure my expectations. We will find something in the grove, I am certain of it. But this dream wallow business... The Hist will not make this easy. Not for you, and certainly not for me. Make whatever preparations you must, Famia. The time has come. <laughs> 